So my dad um, in 2011, uh, I had noticed his decline early on, but I just saw him slowing down. But then in 11, I really started to climb. And but he had begun to say, have conversations with me independently about, you know, y'all need to figure out what you want to do. Um, don't want the land developed. Um, so, you know, I immediately started thinking about how do we make this work? Um, I knew as a child that I wanted to come back and make it a, a big production farm, um, you know, and I'm part of a group called Virginia Agricultural Leaders Obtaining Results, which is a fellowship, leadership fellowship program through Virginia Tech. And so um, we had an international trip over to Peru and, you um, you know, I often say less is better, right? You know, when people think about, oh, I got to get into farming, I need to own 5,000 acres, I need to have 500 head of cattle. You got to think about sustainability. You have to think about quality of life. Um, you have to think about, um, do I have the, the funds? Am I a self-funded operation? And when you're looking at all of these different entities, what are you going to pass on? What are you going to leave behind? My father, um, did not enter in any of the uh, federal programs. He just, he didn't believe in it. Um, and given the historical precedent of those federal programs, uh, specifically being a minority farmer, it did not work in your advantage to go to the federal side because there are many farmers who have lost their land to the federal government because of the tricks that were played. And, you know, rightfully so, you can't point all the fingers at the federal side, there's, you know, there's independent responsibility as well, but it doesn't help when you have people that's going against you, right? 